research grants uh, are difficult to get and I was retiring and I just happened to submit a, a grant. I didn't think it would be funded and they loved it. So they funded it for five years. So I'm here working on that grant for another five years. My wife says she'll kill me if I write another five-year grant. <laughs> well, as a uh, clinician, I uh, used to treat patients and you're exposing dentin all the time. And I just said, you know, why is it such, why is dentin so sensitive? We found uh, a lot about dentin, just, I mean, the structure of dentin. It looks like it's hard as a rock. It's very, very porous, but the pores are microscopic. In fact, there's six million tubules per square centimeter. And so it's really a sieve, and that's why it's so sensitive. Well, after we knew the structure of dentin and how big the tubules were, uh, we had to select things that would go down in the tubules. We found uh, that oxalic acid, when you place it on dentin, reacts with the dentin, forms white submicron crystals that are very acid resistant, and they work like a charm. So we wrote several patents on that. So we, uh, we've developed this model that uh, is used by Colgate, Procter & Gamble, Unilever to test how well their desensitizing products can occlude dentin. So we're really, I'm, I'm delighted at how these simple models have led to the development of new products.